This February, the Watt d'Or, an award for innovative energy solutions, went to the Swiss startup company Glass to Energy. The firm has developed a dye sensitized solar cell that is ready to be produced. So, how do these solar panels compare to traditional models? They produce less energy, but they work over a much longer period of the day, starting with the first light at 6 in the morning and going until 8 or 9 in the evening. The technology was invented and developed by Professor Michael Gretzel for more than 20 years. What's special is that it works like plant photosynthesis. Like the chlorophyll in leaves, the Gretzel cell uses a special dye that absorbs light and generates electrons. Don't forget that the photosynthesis has worked well for three and a half billion years. It's a principle that has proven efficient. Compared to current solar cells, the Gretzel version is significantly cheaper to produce. If it manages to make the step to mass production, it will become cheap and available for everyone. Several Japanese companies have already adapted and pursued the development of the Gretzel cell. The Watt door winner Glass to Energy currently employs 17 people, and soon there will be more than 50. The cells are transparent and have a lifespan of 25 years. Unlike traditional cells, they're not installed on roofs, but on facades, noise absorbing walls, or even used as decorative elements. Since the cells also work under weak light, they can be installed inside. There are already some at Geneva Airport. The idea is to capture energy wherever it's available.